it's the second period and it's time for the second period see the bell has gone so now it's time for the second period that is evs hope that you all are ready are you all ready so come on i have some plans for you for today's class yesterday i have discussed that so today we are going to do some activity and then later on there will be a test hope that you all are ready for the test yesterday i told you that from the chapter lesson number 8 from chapter 8 we are going to conduct the test so hope that you have learned it right so why to waste time let's then just start it right oh yeah so children the name of this chapter is safety rules so in this chapter when we were studying we have learned about diff different safety rules how to be safe right so today we are going to revise the chapter then after that we are going to do some activity on how to be safe right and then later on we are going to i am going to conduct a test right so let's start it children so here you can see the things that we have learned in this chapter was that when you are look at the first picture when you are on the road when you go outside you should use zebra crossing to cross the road when you are walking you must use a footpath to walk never walk on the road right if you see a traffic signal the traffic signal has three lights that is red yellow and green so if you see the traffic light you have to see that which light is on if the red light is on it means stop yellow light means get ready and green light means go right so you have to stop if there is a red light you have to be ready if the light is yellow and you have can move if the light is green right so we have also learned that we should not be playing out on the road right and uh, while walking on the road we need to be alert so that we can avoid accidents right apart from the safety rules that we should follow while on the road we have also learned about different safety rules that we need to follow at home like what we have learned that never to touch any electrical wires electrical sockets with wet hand never touch fire matchsticks right never play with them never use sharp objects like sharp like knife scissor right always when you are outside you want to play you must play in the park or playground right never play on the ground right and when you are playing never fight with your friend always share with the things with your friends right now next one is when we are boarding the bus then we need to be very mannerful right we need to stand in a queue never push or pull each other when you are moving in the bus then wait for your turn don't lean outside of the window and yes very important never get in or come out of a moving bus right now when you go for swimming in the swimming pool make sure that you use the swimming tube when you go to the pool right and always take your elder along with you never go alone into the pool right next one always children after even after we 
try to be safe if sometimes when if we get hurt then we should give a first aid to the person who has got hurt right so always we need to have a first aid box everywhere even at school at our home or even if in the vehicle like car bus truck right so first aid box is must so these are the safety rules if you follow these safety rules then definitely you will be safe from accidents right so now can you tell me what all we have learned in this can you tell me just quickly what all we have learned we have learned that how to be safe so now i will show you something when we are out in the road and we see a traffic light so how many colors are there in a traffic signal the first one is red right the first one is red so what does red light means red light means stop red light means stop right and then what does the second light means the second light is the yellow light which light it is yellow light so yellow light says get ready yellow light means get ready and then the third light is green light so what does green light tells us green light says go 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 right so there are three colors red light yellow light and green light red light says stop yellow light says get ready green light says go 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 red light says stop yellow light says get ready green light says go 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 right so come on mere sath bolo sare bacche ruko 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 दाए नहीं 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 दाए नहीं हम अमेरिका में तो बैठे रही है हम इंडिया में हैं सो हमें पहले किधर देखना है बाय यस सो रुको 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 बाय दाए देखो तभी आगे बढ़ो राइट सो दिस इज व्हाट वी हैव लर्न व्हेन वी शुड बी व्हेन वी आर ऑन द रोड वी हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल एंड अलर्ट सो दैट वी कैन अवॉइड accidents use zebra crossing to cross the road use footpath when we are walking on the road so we are safe right now when you are at home right agar aap jab ghar par hain to aapko tab bhi bhi kuch suraksha ke niyam use karne hain now as a small child you have to be careful with few things like never use sharp things like knife see this is very pointed you should not touch it if you use such a sharp object like knife or scissors or you may use sometimes i have seen children that they are using punching machine these are very dangerous these are sharp objects this is not meant for you you should not be touching them so never ever play or touch them right these are not for you right so say no to them don't touch all these sharp objects come on let's just leave them right now never ever children play with fire because fire is very dangerous if little of a little any any mistake if we make a little mistake can bring a big danger right any time it can catch fire we may get burned so please don't play with the math sticks math sticks are very very dangerous never play with the math sticks never use lighters when you enter the kitchen never use lighters never light up the gas stove oven stay away from the gas stove oven right so these things are strictly no for you right if children you are never ever go to the near to the hot stuff like you can see the iron is 
if the iron is working if it is on the the platform is hot if you touch it you will burn your skin so you have to stay away from such electrical appliances these are not for you never get close to them right now what happens children generally what we do that we have a habit of touching the electric sockets wires right so if supposedly i have a wet hand right i have a wet hand and if i touch the switch on to on something what is going to happen oh my god i will get a shock right i will get a shock so never ever touch the electrical appliances with wet hands what you all some children they do like pointing never pulling something doing something inside so never try to plug in by yourself these things are very dangerous never ever try to do this right stay away from the electrical sockets switches this should be avoided by you all aap bahut chote hain to aapko in cheezon se dur rehna hai touch nahi karna hai do not touch the electric sockets do not touch the switches with wet hand right now again if you want to be safe i have to tell you few more things like generally see you at home there are some disinfectants that we keep your mom keeps like some mortin coils or to get rid of cockroaches of rats we keep few disinfectants so you have to stay away from all those disinfectants also never touch such things see it's written not meant for child you should not touch them and even if you have touched the packet if you have touched them then immediately use soap and water properly apply it and wash it properly so that whatever was there in your hand everything will be removed off right and in case children if anybody gets hurt i always tell you that always you need to have a first aid box at your home it's must so in the first aid box what all things should be there like you should have cotton right a cotton roll you should have medicines like medicine of fever of cold cough common cold cough right and uh, like uh, uh, nebulizer uh, some medicines as you can see right for if you get a stomach ache you can keep pudin hara and uh, some balms right so creams and antiseptic lotions these all things are must see thermometer is also one of the very important thing right that you should keep at home okay so these things are must you should keep them every time it should be readily available at your home so whenever if anybody needs any medical help we the first aid box is available and we can easily give proper medicine or treat that person who is in need right agar iske baad bhi takleef zyada hai to hame kya karni chahiye immediately take that person to the doctor do not wait do not waste the time right so hope that you have understood right so don't touch anything which is dangerous stay away from danger if you stay away from danger you are safe and you need to be alert every time to avoid accidents you have to be alert every time how to be alert दिमाग की घंटी बजाते रहना है और हमेशा आंखों को देखते रहना है कि कहीं कोई प्रॉब्लम इश्यूज तो नहीं है एंड देन वी कैन बी सेम सो होप चिल्ड्रन यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस चैप्टर थेरली एंड नाउ होप दैट यू ऑल आर रेडी फॉर द टेस्ट राइट सो नाउ ओपन योर नोटबुक एंड योर आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर द क्वेश्चन पेपर विथ यू ऑल ओके so here i go so everybody can now remember everything that was taught to you so get ready for the test everybody first please okay instead of 21 20 it should be 21 beta 
just a sec i will make the correction here okay and it should be 21 right so it's done and just give me a sec bacha everybody ah uh, yes yeah. so here it is right so please write down today's date 21 7 20 and write down cw classwork and write down test surprise test or test even you can write and here is your question paper there are only five questions and the question is tick the correct option you have to just put a tick at the correct option okay so the first question is red light means so what does red light means i told you just now a says stop and b says go so if you feel that red light means stop you have to put a tick here and if you feel red light means go then you have to put a tick here okay number two our national game can you tell me what is our national game our national game is cricket or number b hockey i told you in EVS and in GK also I have told you this. Our national game is cricket or hockey. Which is the right option? So whichever you feel is the right option, just put a tick against it. Right? Now, number three. Do not play with dash. So do not play with kisse hume nahi khelna hai. Do not play with knife or do not play with ball. Which is the correct option? We have to play with knife or ball. Se nahi khelna hai. Whichever option you feel is correct, just put a tick. Now number 4 is cross road at road. We have to cross karna hai, to then we should be using A. Zebra crossing or footpath. What should we use? We should use zebra crossing or footpath. Hame zebra crossing se road cross karna hai ya footpath use karke road cross karna hai. Number 5. Never play. Never play. Kis se nahi khelna chahiye? Never play on road ya at park. Kab nahi khelna chahiye? Kahan par? Road pe nahi khelna chahiye ya park me nahi khelna chahiye? Whichever option you feel is correct, just put a tick. Now, to complete this, I am giving you 5 minutes without disturbing you. Chalo, dhyan se karo. Ek bhi mistake nahi hona chahiye. Every question carries one mark, right? So, total there are 5 questions and the test is of 5 marks, okay? So, let me see how much you can score. The first question is red light means stop or go. Second question is our national game. Our national game is A cricket or B hockey. Number three do not play with. Do not play with an A knife. Or B, ball. Number four, cross road at zebra crossing or footpath. Number five is never play on road or at park. Everybody is doing the work. Do it sincerely. Do not cheat pita. Do it honestly. Do not ask to anyone. Apne se karna hai. Thik hai? Tabhi to honestly aapko sahi marks milega hai na? So apne se kariye. Aap dekhi agar dhyan se sochenge to aapko saare answers apne se aajayenge. 
अभी अभी हमने रिवाइज भी किया है सो आई नो दैट यू ऑल नो दंसर्स बस ध्यान से रिकॉल करो आपको सारे आंसर्स याद आ जाएंगे You will be able to do it correctly if you concentrate. Do it properly, beta. Make sure do not make mistake. Hope you all are doing your work sincerely and honestly. red light means our national game is do not play with cross the road at and never play so 5 minutes are going to get over and i am just going to start counting till 10 after 10 time will be up so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 yes yes time is up hope you all must have completed the work have you all done your paper you have to just put a tick great now children you can get the answers checked by your mother और फादर एंड वॉट यू आर सपोज टू डू द नंबर जितना आपका टेक्स करेक्ट है उस पर आप करेक्ट का निशान लगाएंगे एंड जितने भी करेक्ट हैं यहाँ पर देन यू विल गिव मार्क्स टू योर सेल्फ राइट सो नाउ लेट्स चेक दैट हाउ मेनी आंसर्स आर करेक्ट आपके कितने आंसर्स करेक्ट है चलो चेक करते हैं रेड लाइट मीन्स सो रेड लाइट मीन्स Stop or go, and the correct answer is stop. Yes. So check करो. जिन्होंने A option को select किया था, उन वो अपने आप को tick करेंगे और one mark देंगे. Right? They will give one mark to them. Just write, put a tick and give one. Write down one. Now, second one is our national game is hockey. So those who have selected hockey, put a tick and give one to yourself. वन मा जिनका अगर गलत गया है बेटा नो प्रॉब्लम जस्ट पुट अ क्रॉस जस्ट पुट अ क्रॉस ओके नंबर थ्री डू नॉट प्ले विथ डू नॉट प्ले विथ नाइफ यस जो इन्होंने नाइफ ऑप्शन को टिक किया था वो लोग करेक्ट करेंगे और वन मार्क देंगे और जिन्होंने अगर नहीं किया है सो जस्ट पुट अ क्रॉस Number four is cross road at cross road at zebra crossing. Yes, road हमें cross करना है zebra crossing से. So those who have ticked it, please put a tick and give one mark. The next one is never play, never play on the road. Yes, so just put a tick and give one mark to yourself. Done. Great. So please now, can you tell me how many marks you have got? Just count all one, one, one. जितने one है count करो कितने हो गए? If there are five one, it means that you have got five marks, right? तो यहाँ पर अपने आप को marks देंगे, अपने mom को बोलेंगे यहाँ पे marks लिखने के लिए. And after giving marks, take a photo, take a snap of it, and just send me when the window is open, right? 
so so children then now can you tell me that how much marks you have scored those who have scored full on full that is 5 on 5 are clap from my side very good and those who could not beta no problem next time when i will take the test make sure that you are full prepared right aap acche se taiyar kariye theek hai jo agar aapne mistake kiya hai to koi baat nahi aap unko learn kar denge okay so children now it's time to wrap up our today's session and yes tomorrow is wednesday there is no class so please complete all your work learn the exercises and then again we are going to meet in the next class in the next tvs period till then just take care of yourself keep smiling bye